Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of how to fix um, Red Ring of Death or E74 errors. You want to start off by putting the plastic washers on, then the metal washers, and then spreading the thermal paste evenly. And placing the heat sink, whether it's a CPU or GPU. But same thing for each one. Then you want to flip it over, keeping pressure on it so the washers don't come off the screws. And I'm just trying to get it in position here so you can see um, what I'm doing. Then just stick the screwdriver through the tape and start screwing. Remember, not too tight. Uh, if it's too tight, it's going to bend the whole board. If it's too loose, it's going to keep pressure on the processor because of the weight of the CPU. And now you want to attach your cables for the disk drive. Start off with um, whichever one you feel like. Just make sure the um, the ones that are attached to the board have little markings on them, either a green dot, yellow dot, like a tag. But it should show you which one goes where. And the power also has grooves to show you which way goes, like which um, direction it goes. And install the SATA. As you can see there, it's got a yellow strap on it to show which end goes to the motherboard. And then you want to place it in carefully, not touching the sharp bits of the case. If it does, it could scratch the traces and it could um, cut a circuit. Then you want to install the fan, the 12 volt fan that we have upgraded. Um, as I said in the last video, it was really hard to get out compared to usual. So it's going to be a bit tricky to get back in. It also depends when it was made or what type of model you have or it just could be um, just regular. Um, if it's like bent, the case is bent too much or just something that's stopping it from getting in there properly. Then you want to connect the 2 pin um, connector that we made. And that's basically it for the power uh, for the fan. And your fan will be ready to run. And then you want to put the shroud in for the heat sinks and make sure it's flat so no air ex escapes. And you can put tape there if you want to make it more sealed. Then you want to install the disk drive, the solder and solder power, uh, solder and the power, sorry. And also the uh, again the power. Um, cable for it has grooves in it to show which way it goes. Um, just um, send me a message if you think I need to um, or give me any ideas to upload some new videos. I pretty much know how to do everything with the Xbox because I'm a nerd, but yeah, um, that'll be helpful. Now I'm going to test it, see if it works. This is the first time testing it. it usually does work first time. Uh, if it doesn't not work, then you want to stick something in the right hand fan. That's not really weird, but right hand fan, sorry. And that'll stop the suction from the GPU. And it'll heat the GPU up and um, it'll heat the soldering points on it. And what you want to do is leave it for like 5 minutes or so and then let it cool down. Um, so that's pretty much it for that video. I hope it helped. Um, uh, any questions just comment below uh, I don't know what else to say really there will be a diagram in the description to show the um, the pin out for the 12 volt to the connector pretty much show you everything but it does depend again on the cables colors um, because some of them are different so thanks for watching guys see you next time